Hey, I'm gonna show you how my trench shovel works. We got it here slung on the belt by default. You can pull it out here and take a look. It's slung into a little holster and you can attach that wherever you want. When you use the gesture to draw it out, it goes into your hand and now you can whack people with it. By clicking in mouse look, or hitting the V key by default, which is a gesture that is included. Uh, it's got some little swing effects, animation, and sounds. It's got a full AO, so every animation while you're moving around is animated. And a neat little feature is if you use the gesture to cycle through the different th structures that you can build with it. Uh, then you hit the gesture that actually builds the structure that you have selected. You can build a structure here. And the shovel also allows you to damage the structures by swinging and uh, meleeing with the gesture. Or if you hold C, you can actually repair the structure. And this only works with LBA, which is uh, a scripted armor system by Dread Hudson. And a lot of uh, military groups use this in the uh, Second Life military community. And uh, some other places too, but mostly there. So... If you hold shift and Z, that will delete any structures in the sim by default. That is the gesture. As long as the shovel is out, you can delete your structures. If you select the ladder... Um, I'm going to go ahead and build a little example wall first. So we have something to show it off on. If you build the ladder, aim at the ground where you want it to start, and it'll eventually settle into place. After being physical for a bit, it'll go non-physical, and then you can scale the ladder and go up the structure. This is nice because then you can do things like, say there is a big gap. Let's go up the ladder, or dodge into it. No. Alright, we build a ladder here, and drop it onto the... Okay, so... <laughs> that structure wasn't close enough. Uh, well, now we're gonna drop the ladder. And hope it stay... Oh! Well, you know, you get the point. It, uh... It'll eventually... Okay, maybe we need to lower the bounciness on the ladder a bit. Uh, I have a feeling that's... Yeah, that's probably why it's doing that. So, we're gonna make it physical again. Nah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so... We're gonna go into the ladder here. And make it zero bouncy. Do a little repair here in the video before I send this out to you guys. <laughs> All right. Now it should just drop, right? No bouncy. Yeah, see that's, so you just learned something today as well. And now you can cross nice and easy. Cool. All right, so shift Z, deployables will be gone. And now let's check out the mines. So the mines can be placed, and they have like little lasers uh, basically saying, hey, if you touch this, you're gonna die. Uh, unless you're friendly, obviously. Um, so if I change my tag, it'll go boom, and it'll kill me if I'm in Linden Labs damage areas. 
Uh, it'll also do armor damage to LBA targets. So, like, if a vehicle runs it over, it'll damage that as well. And they can be remote detonated with Shift R. Uh, in case you see somebody nearby, but not quite bumping into it. Next we have the sandbags, which are an LBA structure as well, that automatically sit you on them. If you have, uh, if you have RLV enabled, it will do that. Otherwise you have to sit on them manually. And while you're on these sandbags, you'll have 50 HP in London damage areas. You won't die until that HP dies. And it also hides your hitbox underground. So uh, that's a neat little anti-cheat measure that I took with this. So you, people will be less likely to see you from a distance if they're relying solely on hitboxes. Nice little quality of life. And if you have a weapon out, you will be able to shoot from it. Like the Gungnir auto rifle. And if you're in mouse look and you tap E, you'll just jump right up off of them. So you can uh, escape easily from your sandbags during combat. And then switch back to the shovel. And yeah, that's the... Oh yeah, here's the barricade. I didn't tell you, but the spikes on the front will actually kill people that are not in the group that it is actively set to. So if I switch to a different tag, you'll see these damage prims hitting me. So yeah, if you if you run into these spikes and you're not in the the group, then you'll uh you'll get stabbed. And yeah, the barricade also reses with 100 HP and if you repair it, it'll go up to 200. So you can kind of fortify your location a bit better. There you go. And if you hit Z, it'll sling your weapon, your trench shovel. And that's on the four key slot by default. So uh, this will work with a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, a melee weapon. And then the four slot is a like utility item. All right, and that's about all it does. But actually, I'll give you one additional tip. So. You can actually add your own items in here. See this P slash slash space barricade? If you use this naming, uh, uh, you know, this, if you use this naming for an object that you want to add to this shovel, you can do that. Uh, it could be anything you want. It doesn't matter what you add to this as long as it says P slash slash uh, space and then item name it will be able to res that item now you'll need to probably reattach it because I I can reset the scripts but uh, you'll need to reattach it so that it resets and then if you cycle, you'll see item name. And that'll let you add anything to this at all. And uh, basically, you just need to make sure that the root prim location is uh, where you... It, it'll pretty much just uh, res on the ground here, where you're aiming at when you go to build it. And uh, as long as you link whatever object to this object, the other object uh, should just be in place where you want it to be when it comes out. And that'll let you customize your trench shovel to build anything you want. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that extra item. And if I ever add any uh, 
additional structures. I think I was going to add a cannon at some point. Uh, once I have that cannon done, I'll probably do an update and ship it out to you guys. So look forward to that, I suppose. And yeah, uh, hopefully that helps with getting to know your trench shovel. And I hope you guys like it. All right. Have a good one.